Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Flores Solutions. My name is Michelle Flores Gonzalez, COO here at Flores. As we all know, one of the hardest hit industries from the COVID-19 lockdowns was the restaurant industry. The economic impact to the hospitality industry was devastating and will be one that will take quite some time to recover from. In an effort to help these businesses, on March 11th, the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021 created a $28.6 billion restaurant revitalization fund to provide grants for restaurants sustaining financial losses due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The application is set to open up soon and will be ran directly by the SBA. Here are some quick items you should know to start preparing for this program. Number one, who is eligible? Basically, all entities that own a place of business where the public or patrons assemble for the primary purpose of being served food or drink. This includes restaurants, food stands, food trucks, food carts, snack and non-alcoholic beverage bars, caterers, bar, lounges, saloons, and taverns, and in brewery, brew pubs, microbrewery, tap rooms, or tasting rooms, bakeries, wineries, and distilleries. Number two, what would disqualify an entity from being eligible for this grant? The following circumstances would preclude an otherwise eligible entity from receiving an RRFG. As of March 13th, 2020, if the entity owns or operates together with any affiliated businesses, more than 20 locations, regardless of whether those locations do business under the same or multiple names. Secondly, the entity has received or shuttered venues operations grant, the SVOG, or has a pending SVOG application. And lastly, if the entity is publicly traded corporation or is majority owned by a publicly traded corporation. Number three, what is the minimum and or maximum amount an entity can receive with this grant? The SBA might create a minimum grant of $1,000 for eligible entities, and the maximum will be $5 million per location and $10 million total for the eligible entity. Number four, if an entity that applied for and received a first or second draw PPP loan, are they eligible to receive the RRFG? Yes. However, the RFG will be reducted by the total amount of the PPP loans. Number five, how much can an eligible entity receive? An entity can receive a tax-free federal grant equal to the amount of its pandemic-related revenue loss, subtracted by the total amount it received on all PPP loans. So for example, for entities opened before 2019, you would take your gross receipts from 2019 minus your gross receipts from 2020, less your PPP loans, and that would be the total of your RRFG grant. This program promises to be a lifeline for the restaurant industry. There's a large checklist of items that need to be completed for this application. It is in your best interest to download the sample application so that you can start prepping all documents necessary for the portal. If you would like to learn more about this program, please contact Flores today and we'd be happy to assist you.